Hi everyone, welcome to What's Developer. In this uh, CSS tutorial, we're gonna have a look at element, ID, and class selectors. All right, so let's do this. Okay, everyone. So in this tutorial, we're gonna learn uh, about uh, different types of selectors in CSS. All right, so we're gonna cover the most three basic selectors in CSS, and the first one we have is the element selectors and these are the HTML elements so the P tag, H1 tag and uh, body tag and things like that all right so we want to if we go to the browser we see that you have this H1 uh, tag right here and we have the paragraph 1 and 2 so we want to change the color of these uh, paragraphs to red so to do that, we're just going to go to our style.css file. If you haven't linked your style.css file yet to your project, you find the first video in this playlist on how to do that. All right, so we're going to add a rule set. So the first thing we need to do is target uh, the element selector so in this case we're gonna target the P element all right and after that we need to add curly brackets like this open and close and now we're gonna add what we want to do with these uh, paragraphs so we want to change the color to red so we're gonna add the property which is color and after that we need to add a colon all right now we want to choose the color we want to have. So I'm just going to type in red. And after that, we need to end this with a semicolon. All right. So we're going to save this. We're going to go back to the browser. We're going to update. As you can see, we now have the first paragraph as red and also the second one. Okay. We also can uh, target multiple elements in one rule set. So let's say we want to have this uh, h1 uh, element red as well so to do that we're just gonna add this h1 in the css file so if we add the marker right after the p element and hit a comma now we're gonna hit enter for a new line and now we're just gonna add h1 all right we're gonna save this one and go back to the browser update and now we also have the H1 element red. All right. And also if you want to add more declarations on what to do with these uh, paragraphs and H1, we can just go and add a new line right here. We're gonna add a new property. So we're gonna add font size to maybe 40 pixels. All right, we're going to save this one and also make sure to end these with semicolon. Otherwise, it won't work. Go back to the browser and we're going to update. Now we can see that we have the font size set to 40 pixels. All right. So this is how you can use uh, element selectors. Now we're going to go and check out ID selectors. Okay, so we're just going to go and delete this one and we're going to go back to HTML and to add an ID, we're just going to go after the P element, hit space and now we're just going to go and add ID equals and double quotes, alright? So now we're going to name the ID, so I'm going to name this to paragraph dash and uh, one like so and the rule of thumb is you should only use the same ID once you should only use this uh, ID once on each uh, HTML page right so never use like this ID we're just gonna add paragraph dash one 
you should never do it like this. You should only have one ID on each HTML page, all right? You can do like this. Then you have two different IDs, all right? After that, we're gonna go to style.css. So now we're gonna target the ID selector. So we're gonna target paragraph dash one, all right? So to do this, we're just gonna go to style.css and now we're gonna add the number sign, also called hash. Now we're just gonna add the name of the ID, so paragraph dash one. Open and close curly brackets, like so. And now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna change the color, which is the property, color, colon. And we're gonna add a property value. So we're gonna add blue this time. I'm gonna end this with semicolon. We're gonna save this one. We're gonna go to the browser. We're gonna update. Now we can see that the first paragraph uh, is blue. All right. And we can also target the second one the second ID selector, which is paragraph dash two. So let's go back to your CSS file. And after that, we are gonna go and add the number sign paragraph dash two. Open and close curly brackets and the property color colon. And we are gonna add red for this one. Finish off with semicolon. Save this one. Go back and update. And now we have this uh, second ID to red. I will also show you what can happen if you use two IDs on the same page. So if I go back to HTML file and I rename this to the same ID as this one. So paragraph dash one paragraph dash one. If we now go to our CSS file and we're gonna change this to one. And now we have paragraph one, paragraph one, but two different colors. So which color do you think uh, the paragraphs will end up with, all right? So if we save this one, we're gonna go back and we're gonna update. As you can see, we now have two paragraphs with the color of red, but right here we have blue and red. That's because uh, they have the same value, but this one as at the end of the code line, all right? That means this one should execute. That's why you should use only one uh, ID selector in each HTML file, all right? So let's go and delete this. Go back to HTML file. We're gonna delete the IDs, like so. And now we're gonna have a look at class selectors. So to add a class, we are just gonna add class, equals and double quotes. So a class you can add to multiple uh, HTML elements, all right? So let's say we want to add a class called paragraph dash one, same thing. And we're gonna add a class equal signs, double quotes, paragraph dash one, all right? One. But we also want to have a paragraph with a different color. I'm gonna add another one. And this one is gonna call paragraph dash two. And we're going to name this to three. So 
So we're going to save this. We're going to go to style.css and to target classes, we're just going to add a dot and the name of the class name. So paragraph dash one. one open and close curly brackets and the same thing we're gonna add the property colon red and add the semi colon all right we're gonna save this one go back we're gonna update so we have paragraph one and two at the color of red and the paragraph three at the color of black if you go to html we see that we have the same class on these two, so one and two. And we set these two color red. And this one we haven't targeted yet. So if we want to change the color of this one, we are gonna take this class name, go back to CSS, and we're gonna do the same. Dot paragraph paragraph dash two open and close curly brackets and we're gonna add the property to color colon and the property value to blue finish this off with semicolon save this one and update now we can see that this paragraph is blue so with classes you can choose to only change uh, a set of paragraphs that has the same class and you can set other p elements to other declarations uh, that are using other classes all right okay everyone so this is basic information about the element selector id selector and class selector we will cover more selectors in the future of this playlist but for now we have just covered the basic okay everyone so i hope this uh, video helped you out please check out other videos in this uh, css tutorials for beginners playlist have an awesome day take care and bye